One of them has been um, some delaying of sales using withholding tax. Those have been delayed twice. Um, some licensing fees have been reduced. Some extension of liquor licenses have been bumped back. And then also in partnership with the Michigan Liquor Control Commission, um, we were able to initiate with the help of, of the legislature as well as with the governor's office uh, and the attorney general's office, a, a liquor buyback program where a lot of these bars and restaurants really stocked up here in late February, early March, because you had Big Ten tournament, you had March Madness, and you had St. Patrick's Day right around the corner. Um, and, you know, for some of these people, those are their biggest couple weeks of the year. Um, and then, unfortunately, they were they were forced to close, and obviously those celebrations never took place. So the way the program worked is that they could provide an inventory of any unopened product um, they had purchased to the Liquor Control Commission. The Liquor Con Control Commission would verify that that was correct, and they provided them a 100% um, essentially a buyback um, where that, that liquidity went back to the hands immediately. And then 90 days after they're allowed to reopen, they can slowly start paying that back in the form of a short-term loan.